So I think this guy's giving his feedback on the wizard, how he would change it, how he'd improve it. So let's go. Uh, everybody knows wizard has issues. Most of wizard players expect or maybe even demand massive buffs. And it's not what the class needs in my opinion. Here are my thoughts. One, spell scaling is problematic. Unlike weapon damage, or unlike weapon users, spellcasters get its damage from spells, plus percentage magic damage modifiers, and flat damage modifiers. What it means is that some spells, despite hitting hard at first, don't scale. Example, Naked Wizard no bonuses. Zap does 21 damage, Lightning Strike does 35. Fair. Zap much easier to land, casts faster, and recharges faster. God Gear Wizard plus 20 magical damage, Zap does 61, Lightning Strike does 55. Not fair at all. Zap objectively better in every way. Always, Lightning Strike troll spell, never use trash. <laughs> Spell scaling needs to be adjusted, or spells like Ice Bolt, Lightning Strike, Chain Lightning will never be good options. Um, I, the stats stuff confuses me. <laughs> I tried a, a little bit of trying to understand it, and it's just like uh, these numbers whizzing by my brain, and I can't, don't understand what's going on. So I want to understand it, but it's a little bit difficult. I don't personally currently understand the way they have it built as far as what each stat means and which one's more important than the other but that's something i want to learn um so i can't personally say you know how accurate he is on this stuff um just to take his word for it but what he's missing one thing he is missing there is um even if chain lightning is uh like he's basically wrong on the chain lightning thing i think there even if it does damage that's like considered low because of the nature of chain lightning you know you can hit three people with it so even if it doesn't scale as well as it should the fact that you can hit three people i mean that's that in itself is pretty massive you know what i mean that can make it still makes it viable even if it doesn't scale as well as you think it should the fact that you could hit two or three people um if you're good with it you know that in itself makes it valuable it doesn't need to do individually more damage than zap or something whatever because if you do three exit you know if it's three x or two x is higher then obviously that's better if you're hitting three people um depending on the situation hypothetically you would, sometimes you need more of that single target high damage um even if you're going up against a group if you're if it's the means killing that guy and that barbarian or fighter that's rushing you versus you know doing more damage to the three but the fighter lives and then he kills you because he lives versus doing a little bit um more single target damage to the fighter but not hurting the other two but killing the fighter um, if that makes sense <laughs> so anyway let's continue with this number two burning and how it interacts with debuff duration if you reduce burning duration under one second it will not do any damage so every single god gear character they get plus all stats which plus all stats which reduces debuffs is basically immune to zaps burning unfairly reducing wizard's damage output if burn does 10 damage after one second every enemy with 50 percent debuff duration should take five damage as it is he takes zero fix please so basically zap has a effect where it does you know the spell works as it does immediate damage but then it also does a burn effect um a dot damage over time i don't remember how much of it is it's like one second or what afterwards so if the you're going up against a fighter for example who's got a bunch of this debuff gear it reduces his debuff duration to 50 percent for example that would mean um it would go to one second down to 0.5 you know half a second but the way the code the game is coded right now that half a second anything under one second is equivalent to zero basically it rounds down any partial um value partial of a second basically automatically so it's basically having negative 50 percent is the equivalent of having negative 100 at least in this situation specifically for this burning effect not all debuffs um not all debuffs are a one second debuff um but presumably it would still impact the whole, um, largely impact, I guess. So number three, starting gear is terrible. Magic staff needs to either 
needs either massive buffs or wizard needs to start with book plus quarter. I assume he means quarter staff or orb plus dagger. This is not even about balance between classes. Starter gear wizard and using staff just feels miserable to play. Um, see, this is a tough thing. I feel like I, I, I see both sides to this. Like, um, I agree. <laughs> Starter wizard does suck, but at the same time, it's like, okay, if you're going to take out the magic, if you're going to take out the magic staff, um, or not take out, I mean, if you're going to not give magic staff to the wizard to start with, um, like what's the point of it being in the game then, you know? unless you're just going to give cleric it because cleric currently also has magic staff. This is one of the things that all the wizard complainers never talk about. They never mention how clerics also start out with, um, they have the same problem. They start out with a magic staff and it also sucks as a cleric trying to heal and buff with that. Um, so, you know, all clerics, you know, prefer a spell book over a staff any day. Um, I can speak out of experience being a cleric main myself. So it's like at that point, if you replace it or if you don't, you know I mean? If you don't have them start out with it, then what's the point of it? You know, why is it in the game? And I understand it's like an iconic thing in, you know what I mean? You think about a wizard in, um, you know, Lord of the Rings, whatever, any type of fantasy stuff where wizards exist, you know, the staff is iconic. That's like the wizard, um, weapon, so to speak. So it's like, it, um, at the same time, I don't know what they could do exactly. I've heard talks of them buffing. They could like built in, build in a spell that's into the magic staff by default. So even if you run out of spells, it has some type of um, low damage spell built into it. That's kind of like a, a bow mechanic. Think of the a bow that shoots that the ranger has. You know, shoots five arrows and then you reload, shoot five more arrows, something like that with the magic staff where it has like a five spells of a, some type of, um, fire blast or something that does low damage. And then you shoot it five times and then you can reload or something. So I don't know. I mean, that, that does sound cool as far as to have. So I'd be open to seeing something like that personally. Number four, survivability scaling. Every single physical class stacks strength. Why you might ask? It gives both damage and survivability. And by survivability, I mean, he means HP. And because of that, the stronger your gear, the more and more strength you have, and thus more HP. Um, the way strength is, is it does, it increases your damage and it increases your health. That's why, so barbarians have the, the highest strength to start out with. So they have the highest damage and the highest health. Kind of crazy. Um, wizard doesn't get damage from strength which means you get less value from it, which means other stats have bigger priority. And because of that, wizard survivability scales a lot less with gear compared to other classes. Naked wizard goes from 75 HP to 90 HP with god gear. Meanwhile, ranger goes from 90 to as high as 140. Same applies to all classes. I don't know how this can be addressed other than maybe making new constitution stat, which would give HP and remove it from strength, which that I agree with. Like, it, I think it's a bit ridiculous that, um, and silly. I don't know why they made it that way. It's such a two big things. I mean, damage, increasing your damage, increasing your health are like the two most iconic, um, two of the most important stats. And to think that they're, um, forever tied together. And if you want to increase one, you're increasing both. And so it also means the way you build the base character stats, I, i.e. the, Barbarian is always going to have the most of both. Then if you give him the highest strength, he's always going to have the highest damage and the highest health, which is crazy. Like it's a crazy combo. Um, like the two most important stats, <laughs> you, you think about it. Like, I mean, I guess, you know, movement is big too, but like, you know, health's pretty freaking important and damage is freaking important. So, um, and I'm not an expert on like the high end gear. But from what he's saying, if that's true, I think that's I think what he's saying currently, the gear, it doesn't scale because the devs know that strength is not important for wizards. So like the, uh, I mean, damage, the strength damage portion portion of strength is not important for wizards. So they don't build that into the, the good gear for them, but that comes at a cost of also meaning their health sucks. Um, 
which I don't think that's necessarily uh, innately an issue. Like from a hypothetical, like just take the wizard out of it. Like just think, uh, you know, just put X as a variable for the class type. Don't think about any type of specific class, but just think of the build type. Like you can justify having like a, a high damage, low health in uh, character. Like that's not an issue. Cause if you're doing high damage, it's kind of like a cost um, benefit. Like the analysis, you gotta like do one or the other kind of like you gotta have balance somewhere. You know what I mean? Hypothetically, you can't have be the best at every stat. You gotta have trade-offs. So like that's um, understandable. Now for wizard specifically, I don't know. I haven't done a lot of um, high-end wizard play, but I've seen some crazy stuff. But they've also they've done wizards probably the class they've done the most. At least I've heard the most talk on it, the most debuffs and buffs, like the most changing of the class, um, which is also kind of understandable because it's a hard class to balance. If you think about it, the whole magic and all the different spells it has, that's a lot of more balance that that takes versus you know a basic barbarian two-handed axe you know balancing the damage on that versus all these different spells you know and the scaling with the magic damage bonuses so uh number five lack of gear options will be addressed i'm 100 percent sure but i still want to mention it main example is headpieces wizard has two options and out of these two one is objectively better than other not only wizard hat needs a buff but it but uh, this guy's phrasing, uh, but make it give magical power, provide less survivability. So make it give some extra damage in return, but we also need more options. Yeah, not, I can't say for certain. I don't know what the current stats are on wizard hats and stuff, what they usually give you. Um, but he wants it to add magical power, which I mean, that makes sense as far as that's being their most important stat. I don't know what it gives right now in contrast. Uh, number six, perks feel mandatory. Wizard above all classes feels more locked into its perks than other classes. Um, that I think that's every class has that. Every class has at least one, if not multiple, perks or abilities slash skills. You know, same thing. I call the skill. They call they call them skills. I call them abilities. Whatever. Same difference. Um. I feel like every, every class I've played, you know, regularly, I always feel like there's those ones like, okay, this is like too good to pass up. I have to take this, um, you know, Ranger was it multi-shot. I don't know. I always get confused on the names. I'm bad with memory, like specifics, but you know, the three arrow shot, like that's like a must, like it's, you're just trolling. If you don't take that as Ranger, basically that ability, it's just too good. Um, you know, something like that. It's just absurd. Um, I don't mean absurd, like it's overpowered. I just mean like, it's like obviously good. And there's like no build, there's no ranger build I would have where I don't take that no real ranger. If I'm trolling, okay. If I'm trolling and doing some type of crazy build or something, or I just want to try out some other stuff. But like, if I'm actually trying to make the best ranger possible, I'm always going to take that multi-shot for example. Um, let's see what else did he say? Arcane cast speed perk is such a staple. Not running it is trolling. Now on top of Sage and Quick Chant makes for three perks that are objectively always the best and must picks. And we are left with one choice, which we all know is going to be 10% damage perk. Please make Quick Chant baseline. It will open up a new perk to choose. Also maybe buff reactive shield to scale with magical power. Question mark. 10% no 10 damage shield is terrible, but with good gear, it could go as high as 15 to 16, which would be worth taking and partially fix survivability scaling desperately at the same time. PS at 7 AM. I can't sleep. Take my rambling with a grain of salt. Yeah. I'm open to that. Like the buffing, the reactive shield that if it does um, buff it too much, that will making it scale on magical power, but that you're know, going from 10 to 15 or something that is. Um, it may not sound like a lot, but that can make a difference in surviving. Um, and that would help your, as he says, survivability rather than just adding 
HP. That's another way of giving you extra help in surviving damage intake. But yeah, I think wizards are just always going to be one of those classes that's just going to be difficult to balance, particularly if they add even more spells to his uh, options of spells that he can take. You know, every time it's just one of those classes that by its nature is just difficult to balance um, with so many spells that are so can be kind of different and have unique abilities and effects. It's not just a simple swing a sword, do damage, swing a sword, do damage. Not that I'm mocking um, fighters or barbarians or anything like that, but you can understand from a, a game dev point of view, it's a lot more difficult um, creating and balancing a spell casting class versus a simple sword or even bow, you know, based class. And at the same time, I would say to the devs, take it with a grain of salt. I mean, anyone who mains any class is always going to be complaining about certain stuff, um, for their class and wanting things different in a certain way. And people are always going to be complaining about, you know, wizards as well. I feel like, so that doesn't mean they don't need to be buffed or anything right now. I'm not, I don't not saying that I'm just saying kind of, I feel like wizard players are always going to be whining a little bit. So, um, and I don't have anything against wizards. I like them. I want to be good at them. I just find them difficult. So yeah, it just sucks as a starter wizard, but I don't know how good they are at high end from right here. They can be pretty good at high end. It's just difficult getting there, getting the gear and stuff. Um, versus, you know, freaking barbarian level one barbarian slaps, you know what I mean? You can just smack stuff up. You can go <laughs> destroy example, you know, a wizard, a level one barbarian going up against a level one wizard. Goodbye to that wizard, you know? So anyways, that was the wizard. This was my feedback on his wizard feedback.